morning guys i'm going to a pilates class at a studio that i haven't been before um it's like a 30 minute walk away which is kind of nice the walk morning walk through paris wake myself up before the class it is going to be in french which should be okay because i can just like watch people if i don't understand anything but i've basically spent all summer with english speaking people and i'm not been practicing so we need to get back on track. Merci. Merci beaucoup. A bientôt. À la prochaine. Just finished Pilates. It was a very gentle class, but the instructor was so lovely and it was just like really good vibes. I've gone to another reformer studio here. This one just had like nice vibes and like the people were really sweet. So I'm definitely going to be going back. I just had some like class pass credits to use up. Blue skies, baby. Bonjour. Hey guys, I just got back to my apartment, had a shower, and I'm getting ready to meet Hugo, who I haven't seen all summer. It's so lovely. I don't know what we're gonna do. Maybe grab some lunch, read in the park. I've been getting through a fair few books actually. I don't know if all of you enjoy book content. Let me know down below if you want me to talk more about books because I've been reading a lot and I do have a good read, so I'll leave it linked down below. I just mix Glossier's Future Jew with the Dior backstage face and body foundation. I actually have a fair few <laughs> books that I want to talk about. I was in London and my friend Kath gave me her copy of Yellow Face and I finished this on the Eurostar home. Like I read it during that whole period. I'm not sure <laughs> if I like particularly enjoyed it. It was one of those like really quick reads. I think the point of it is that you're not meant to like the narrator. It's narrated by this writer. She's an Asian American friend who's a very successful author as well. She's not very successful. In the first chapter, not a spoiler, but <laughs> her friend dies. And she takes her unfinished manuscript and publishes it under her name. And it's basically like the, the consequences of that action. I actually find it quite stressful. Maybe it's just, I don't know. I feel like I'm a goody goody two shoes and I hate people doing things wrong. And so the whole way through this, I was like, oh, what, what bad thing is gonna happen to her because she like fucked up at the beginning. But I would say that if you want something Quick to read. I also read Before the Coffee Gets Cold, which this one has so much hype about. And it's not that I was like let down by it, but it's quite sparse. Like it doesn't give too much. It was actually first done as a play and not a novel, which makes so much sense because it's split into four chapters or acts and everything takes place in this one coffee shop. So I feel like it would work so well as a play, but a very easy read. I don't know. I think because there's so much hype about it, I was expecting a bit more, but also a good recommendation if you just want something to get kind of back into reading. I'd say that's like a good, um, a good like starter book but the book i wouldn't even say it's a book the essay which i've just finished and absolutely adored like i can't stop thinking about it is simple passions by annie erno she's a french writer it's so short like you can read it in one setting i'd love to read her books in the original language once my vocabulary and stuff improves this one might actually be like an easier one to go into just because of the length it's basically just an extended essay about her affair with this man i put this on my story one of my friends replied being like i adore this because it made me feel like i wasn't crazy to like think this way i underlined so many sentences this is for the girls who are like a little bit obsessive, a little bit delusional. And then lastly, I have two books that I'm kind of reading between. First one is another Eve Babbitt's book, who you guys know that I love. It's Eve's Hollywood, I haven't read this. It's a collection of her essays and they seem to be pretty short. And it's a really nice thing to just like pick up every now and again, read a few pages. And then the last book I'm absolutely not recommending. <laughs> I bought it because I haven't read any Henry Miller and Every time I go to the bookstore, I see this cover and I'm like, it's so beautiful. It's like a, a nude study by 
Trissy Emin. Okay, that's why it, that's why I gravitated towards it. And also the blurb sounded interesting because it's about 1930s Bohemian Paris. This novel was banned for being pornographic and like obscene. So I should have known that going into it, but the first few pages, like, oh my god, like rough, like rough language. I don't know if this is how just men think, but I'm not sure if I can continue. I feel like I should, but like not my mask it's still being here. My sofa pieces were meant to arrive um, on Friday and I got delayed by another 10 days, which is just sad but sometimes you gotta be patient, had to be patient for the apartment, gonna have to be patient for furniture. I have a really bad face for sunglasses. Like, sunglasses just don't suit me. And I still haven't found a perfect pair. These... These are okay. These are from Shimmy. My friend Lola said I look like I'm wearing 3D cinema glasses. So that kind of me up. I bought these from Saint Laurent, but I think I'm gonna return them. I don't think the point is good for me. Maybe they're a little bit big. And they sent me these sunglasses, which are really cute, but they're pink. It's like giving Barbie. Hey. <laughs> the Saint Laurent. And like... I never walked in such pointy heels. Wow. So we'll see. You're going to be so tall compared to me. Coucou. Antoine Oh. Bah. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> I look so small with it. <laughs> on va au Café Nios. Ah, au final, on va au Café Nios. Une meilleure place pour un café. De... Pour euh, matcha à la rose. Matcha à la rose. Et c'est le seul endroit à Paris qui fait des matcha à la rose. Ça va être trop bon. Oh, c'est trop joli avec les petits fleurs. Okay, I'll get my shirt. Yeah. Merci. Merci. So we took matcha. Je prends mon matcha. Tu as pris le matcha. J'ai pris. Et j'ai pris la mangue. Le mangue, non, c'est passion. Euh, passion fruit. Yeah. Fruit de la passion. Fruit de la passion. Mmm. Mmm. It's matcha cream. It's Sunday in Paris, which means flea markets. I'm gonna leave the website where you can find out what day and where the locations of different flea markets are. Manifesting good things. Hello! Ça va? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> okay, okay, boyfriend. <laughs> Yeah, beaucoup. How, how, how did you say too much? Overwhelming. Yeah. 
There is, that's the thing, there's no word, I feel like there's no word for overwhelming in French. No. Être submergé. Submerged? Yes. <laughs> Trying to focus on home stuff, but we keep looking at jewelry. <laughs> Regardez les gens avec un Coca-Cola zéro. Zéro. Est-ce que tu es. Euh... En fait, je ne peux pas vraiment dire excité. Parce que, excité, c'est que... vrai, oui. Voilà, donc c'est plus impatient. Impatient. Impatient, it's more like I can't wait. Es-tu impatient pour cette année C'est la rentrée. Oui. Back to school. Oui. I like the, that vibe. Trop beau, wow. C'est très mais, très beau. Mais c'est juste ça, ça et ça. C'est, c'est super beau. Deux pièces. C'est super beau. Ouais, c'est, c'est aussi Bellini, mais c'est pas. J'ai jamais vu avant en plus. Oui. Ouais. On va aller où une autre. Oh my god, Bloody Studio. Don't wanna go. But here we are. Working up. I can't walk. It was like a torture machine. But I'm headed home. And I would do nothing. Just gonna eat a sandwich that Hugo got me earlier. Oh, oh my god. Mon dieu.